what is going on people inside that internet machine welcome to this quick pickup video let's just get into it to uh, Maxine's Bargain Box in Newark, Ohio. It's my favorite video game store. I love that place. They got, you know, video games, comic books, graded comic books, figures, you know, <laughs> uh, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, little little tchotchkes and light-up things. So, great store if you're ever in Newark, uh, Newark, Ohio. Definitely check it out. I was looking through their common Nintendo games and Super Nintendo games. I had 63 in trade credit. I don't know if I said that, but uh, found Head On Soccer. I know. I know, it's a soccer game on the Super Nintendo, but this is one of those games that's like a $25 to $30 game. So it's kind of getting up there, a little bit harder to find. Got some sticker residue there. This one's from PJ's New and Used Merchandise, DVDs, CDs, games, books, and more. 757 Columbus Avenue, Lebanon, Ohio, 45036. So if you ever went to PJ's, there's a little bit of blast from the past, a little nostalgia for you, but you know, eight bucks, not gonna complain. I saw this on their PlayStation 2 shelf and I already have it, but it was only $10. Again, it was trade credit, but it is a copy of Devil Kings, which is a Capcom title on the PlayStation 2. This one is complete. Now, I'll have to check to see if this is an upgrade for my copy. If it is, I'll throw this in my collection and then just sell off the other copy. But again, another game that's in that $25 range. I've never played it, but uh, you know I love Capcom. Looks like a action fighter Dynasty Warriors type game. I don't know. And then I saw this in their collector's cabinet and I knew that I had to have it. Well, once a year I go through a fighting game phase where I just want to play some fighting games. This one was a little underpriced. I had it at 25 bucks. It is King of Fighters 2001 and King of Fighters 2000 on the PlayStation 2. I'm definitely gonna pop this one in. It's got the manual and uh, both discs in there. I wonder how many PlayStation 2 games actually have two discs. You know, like uh, I can think of like maybe Metal Slug 4 and 5. Maybe there was a, a Silent Scope game. There was a uh, Devil May Cry maybe. Resident Evil Code Veronica came in the devil, a demo disc. Dragon Ball Z came, Budokai 3, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 came with a demo disc. I, I don't know. I have to look it up, but I think those uh, dual disc PlayStation 2 games are actually kind of neat. So that's what we picked up at Maxine's, all in trade credit, so we didn't spend anything out of pocket. I was going to stop by Brian's Video Trader, but they're closed on Sunday. Brian, I know you're watching. Clean that up. Got something in my eye. It's not my finger, wise ass. Okay. Saw this. Uh, Brian's sort of moving. There's a Buckeye Games in Flea Market that was right next door, so there's still some, some stuff left over in the other building. I was walking through, saw this little guy. It is a 15 uh, Nintendo game carrying case. It was $10. Don't know if that's going to show up. But it was $10, so we definitely snagged it. And it had five dust sleeves in there. So we got our... I mean, these are like two bucks a piece anyway, so we got our money back in the dust sleeves. I, I love these things. It's not in great condition, but I love love them for games that I've got manuals for. I can just put them in there and I don't have to stack them on the shelves on top of each other. So 10 bucks with five dust sleeves, not bad. We're gonna pay that every day. Last thing we picked up, I've been mauling this one over. Brian's had this in his case over at, uh, at Buckeye Games and Flea Market. He's had this in the case for a while. I've been debating whether to pick it up. It's, it's underpriced as it is, uh, but the cartridge condition isn't that great. Super rare Nintendo game. I never see this one. It is Cool World. You see the cartridge has some discoloration, but the label's actually in really good shape and the pins are in good shape. And he wanted 60 bucks for a copy of Cool World. So now I heard this isn't a really good game at all, but uh, for 60 bucks, we're definitely gonna add this to the collection because I'm never gonna find it cheaper and I doubt I'll find it you know, at a garage sale or anything like that. So, I don't know. Would you guys have paid $60 for a copy of Cool World on Nintendo? Leave a comment down below. That's going to do it, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. What have you been picking up? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share on social media. Don't forget to bang that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM Retro 
gaming goodness, I did have some toy pickups. So I'll leave the link to my new channel, The Toy Freaks, down below. But guys, take care of yourselves, and we will see you on the next one.